Today we're using Microsoft Kodu Game Lab. It's a game programming software that's free for download from Microsoft. We're going to start by loading a new world. When you do that, you see you're given an empty piece of land. You can change the color and the size of the land with the brown brush tool. If I click the right side of my mouse, it will erase. If I click the left side of my mouse, it will paint. I can also select the color of the land that I want by clicking on the little dice, little squares. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick a gray base. And then I can size the tool to the size that I want the land to be by using the arrows. So I can resize it on the right to make it larger or the left to minimize. When I get it the size I want, I simply click my mouse and the land should appear the color that you selected. The larger you make the land, the lower it tends to run. Next, I'm going to pick a different color, a contrasting color. And I can scroll using the scroll wheel, or I can just use the arrows. And then I'm going to select a different tool, the line tool. Now right now my tool is too big to create lines for a maze, so I'm going to minimize the tool. And then I just simply click where I want the lines to be and draw. And when I let go, it creates a straight line. Notice if it looks jagged, you have to keep holding your finger down and reposition the line move it till they all align and then it'll give you a straight line. If you want a jagged line you can leave it that way. But if you want a straight line you have to reposition it till everything aligns. So I'm just creating my little maze path here. I'll do a quick last one just okay once I've created the path of my maze then I'm going to go to this raised land tool and in this raised and land tool there's a tool brush called the magic tool brush and this is a cool tool brush because it detects colors so right now you've noticed the light gray areas are flashing and if I point in the inside where the dark gray areas are, they will flash. For this um, maze, I want to use the dark areas because I'm going to raise them to create walls. So all I have to do is simply click and it will raise the walls for me. If I make a mistake or it's too tall, I can simply click the right side of my mouse and it will flatten again. So I'm going to raise it up. After I raise it up, I'm going to reposition the maze so that I can see into it to cut out the inside. So I click my hand picker tool and I can use my mouse to pull the land back and forward, back, forward and front, <laughs> front and back, <laughs> excuse me. And I can also use the right side of my mouse to tilt and rotate. And once I've done that, I'm going to get to a, a position where I can see into the maze clearly. And this will help me cut out the inside. Because if I touch any of the other sides, it will ruin this nice maze that I just made. So I'm going to click on my tool brush 
and the, t the magic tool brush is still selected. And then I'm going to decrease the size of my tool brush, my paint tool. And that is going to be where the land gets cut out. And depending on how narrow or how wide I want the inside of my maze to be, that's where I can select it. After you do that, you simply just hold down the right side of your mouse and it will hollow out the inside of that maze for you. I can hit the land picker tool and zoom and you can see that it has clearly hollowed out all the inside of my maze in a very simple step. Now if I wanted this to be a land feature such as a pool or a pond, a fountain, anything that holds water, all I would have to do is click on the water feature and add my water. If I don't want the water in my maze, which I don't, I'm going to click the right side of my mouse and erase the water. Now to make this maze accessible we need an opening. So I'm going to twist, oops, had to get off. I'm going to get the land pick, uh, hand tool and I'm going to rotate my maze around to where I want to create the opening. And we'll get a nice view there. And then I'm going to select the land raising and lowering tool again. And this time I'm going to select just the square brush. And the brush right now is a little larger than where I want the opening, so I'm going to resize it. And then this is the part that's really important because you have to hold the mouse very still while you are clicking the right side of your mouse for it to lower the right section. If you move it to one side or another, it'll start lowering pieces of your maze that perhaps you don't want to mess with. So right now we have a perfect maze hollowed out with an opening. Um, if you want to add a robot to go through your maze, a bot, then you're going to click on the robot and then click where you want him to appear. And then you can select different types of features for your maze. You can throw in coins or stars or hearts or anything like that for them to retrieve from the maze. You can add mm -hmm. other bots to keep him from getting to the end of your maze. Um, for right now, I'm just going to add the main character. I'm going to add a Kodu to be the one who navigates the maze. That is the end of the lesson on creating a maze in Kodu Game Lab.